This orange sapling will be planted in a farm located in the Sao Paulo state. There, it will join another 202 million trees that form the Brazilian citrus belt, the largest citrus production area in the world. To grow, it will undergo photosynthesis and extract metric tons of carbon dioxide from the air and fix carbon in its roots, trunk, branches and leaves while doing so. In some years, it will be as big as this orange tree and will have stored over 100 kilograms of carbon. There are 170 million bearing orange trees in the Brazilian citrus belt. They provide 7 out of 10 glasses of orange juice consumed in the world and together they store over 8 million tons of carbon. How do we know that? By means of research, we visited many citrus farms and collected several bearing orange trees. We then separated them into trunks, stems and leaves. All of this was weighed to measure wet weight. Then, we removed all the roots using an equipment named winch and measured their wet weight too. After that, part of these trees was taken to the kiln and later their dry weight was measured. Part of the dried sample was taken to the laboratory for carbon percentage detection. So, an average of 50 kilograms of carbon is what one orange tree sequesters. An average grove contains around 500 trees, therefore one hectare of orange sequesters 25 tons of carbon. A single one of these trees neutralizes 10 days of greenhouse gas emissions made by one person in Brazil, and the annual pruning of leaves and branches will increase organic carbon in the soil. Orange trees are not the only elements that store carbon in farms. Besides carbon contents in orange trees, we also evaluated carbon content in the soil, which is one of Earth's main organic carbon reservoirs. We estimated carbon contents in native vegetation and in riparian forest, legal reserve, Atlantic forest and Brazilian savanna, remnants that farmers preserve within their farms. Brazilian law requires that every farm within the states of São Paulo and Minas Gerais preserve 20% of its area covered by native vegetation and free from agricultural use. The citrus belt encompasses 160,000 hectares of such forests, which also store carbon. Together, Grossus native vegetation areas and the soil of farms located in the Brazilian citrus belt store 36 million tons of carbon. They have already extracted 133 million tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Did you see how orange farmers contribute to generating income, employment and fruit for nourishment as well as to mitigating climate change this is called sustainability. Sustainable citriculture is valuable for the market, for the farmer, for the people and for the planet. Learn more about the sustainability of Brazilian citrus production in www.bandicitrus.com.br Citricultura Sustentável